This is the COVID-19 emergency call center situated in Nairobi's Mlolongo area. A state-of-the-art facility of Kenya's leading telco, Safaricom. Before the outbreak of coronavirus in Kenya, it served as a communications center for Safaricom. But as the numbers of coronavirus victims increased, contact tracing as well as proper communication from Kenyans to the Ministry of Health got difficult. That's where Safaricom came in to bridge the gap. According to Consumer Care Operations Manager in Safaricom, Wilfred Zuki, they've had to train over 300 personnel to aid in the process. Once the call comes to them, they are able to do a triage. They are able to evaluate what nature of the call is. So they will determine whether it is informational, whether the whether whether customers are asking about symptoms, whether they are asking about prevention, where to get what services. And so once they are able to understand the nature of their call, that determines the next cause of action. This is a major milestone for the country to be able to coordinate the entire COVID-19 response team in one call center. But this, according to the customer experience director, Janet Atika, it was easy for them to establish the facility since they already had existing infrastructure to serve almost the same purpose. Um, we started off at 1.1 million initially. Yeah. Now we're doing 350,000 interactions on daily basis. Yeah. Yeah. And so far, those are many calls, regardless that they are <laughs> dropping down. That's a huge number. Yeah. But now, um, what are you doing to ensure constant, efficient mm -hmm. communication? Mm -hmm. So, uh, number one is we've trained extra resources. And uh, what the uh, staff do right now, because these are seasoned Safaricom experience agents. Yeah. They do answer Safaricom calls, but when the volumes grow on COVID-19, we immediately switch them to answer those calls to ensure that we sustain a service level of 100%. What do I mean by that? We do 99.9% .9 of all volumes that come in within 20 seconds. Right. Yeah. That is quite a very quick way of responding to the customer. And we are saying that one caller who will drop off, we're going to call them back. Yeah. Yes. So basically, um, you're incurring more expenses. This is basically an, a, a CSR program to the government. It's yes. a noble work. But yes. now, let's talk about the employees of, uh, from your department. Yes, yes. Are there packages or maybe <laughs> some, um, let's say, uh, opportunities that you're giving them or mm. incentives mm. during this particular time? Yes. So we've done a lot, um, and the welfare of our staff is uh, core and very important. In fact, it stands as priority number one. Uh, when you walked around, you must have seen how we put automated uh, sanitizers every 20 meter of the floor. You have seen that we give the masks, which we issue every day, a new mask for every staff. You, see, you must have seen that we give them uh, alcohol swabs which they use to wipe their machines whenever they're using that. Um, we also uh, check their temperatures when they're coming in so that we make sure that we're able to pick any occurring issues and we do not cause this to extend to the rest of the staff who are working here. Many corporates have offered the government and two Kenyans a lending hand during the coronavirus pandemic. This will go a long way in curbing the spread of the disease. Linda Koskei, K24 Business.